Anisha, welcome to the Pink Couch and to Toronto. Thank you. It's good to be here on your pink couch and in Toronto. Now, the Cayman Islands has been a very interesting and attractive destination for Canadians for a long time. We have an affinity with the islands, I think. Good. But it's a um, small destination. It is. You've got plans to grow. We do. Uh, how do you do that sustainably for you know existing residents and of course the visitors that have been enjoying going there for a number of years? It's a great question. I think a part of why we've been successful what we do for many years is because we've got managed tourism development. So we've operated under a national tourism management plan for many years. Um, it actually expired uh, in 20. 13, and we're currently going through the process of updating that plan. Um, so we'll have a new tourism management plan that starts in 2017 and goes through the 2020. Uh, that plan helps us understand really what is the accommodation capacity for the destination, mm -hmm. so just how much can we accommodate from a visitation perspective, as well as what's the best kind of areas for the destination to develop for. We understand that we can't be all things to all visitors and we can't be all things uh, as a Caribbean uh, product. So we understand where we want to be from a positioning perspective and it's a well-researched proposition. Uh -huh. So we take sustainable tourism very seriously when it comes to um, planning out where we go. And also for the cruise market yeah. because there is big yeah. demand for cruise it, ships yes. to stop in the Caymans and so how are you going to manage yeah. that? It's part of the plan I presume? It is and it's, a, it's absolutely a part of the plan. Um, you may be aware that the government has been investigating whether or not to go to cruise berthing. Um, there have been multiple environmental impact studies. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a well thought out plan plan to support that type of development and again the number of actual passengers um, are a part of that study. So mm -hmm. we understand that it'll take a measurable and sustainable approach to it. We're not going to just say here are the gates, it's all open, <laughs> everyone come in. Um, we're an island. There's yeah. only a certain amount of a carrying capacity you can have and we, we're ensuring that we're managing that appropriately. And in Canada is just one market. Yes. What other um, areas are you looking to grow from? Sure, so the U.S. remains our largest uh -huh. uh, market. It accounts for just over 80% of our visitation. Um, Europe and Canada account for about 6% of visitation and then we're looking to grow Latin America. So okay. that is an area of the business that we're changing some focus to. We have some new representation in that area as well, specifically out of Argentina and concentrating on Brazil, Argentina and Colombia. Okay, and is yeah. there any more opportunity for additional lift out of Canada? We hope so. Yeah. So it's one of the things that we'll be working on in the short term. Uh, some exciting news, we have a new uh, business development manager in Canada. Raymond Mathias. Um, yes. You guys will yes. see and hear lots from him very soon. So one of the first things that we'll be working on is actually capacity out of Canada. We feel that if we can add more seats to the market, then we'll definitely be able to uh, welcome more Canadian visitors to our shore. Fantastic. Yeah. So we're excited about that. And some new hotel developments, I understand, as well yes. opening in November you have... In November, the Kimpton opens, yeah. and it's the first Kimpton product outside of the U.S., first in the Caribbean, so we're very excited to welcome them. Um, it's the right kind of product for Cayman, so, you know, everybody knows there's a Ritz-Carlton, we've got a Marriott, we have a Weston, now we've added a boutique property mm -hmm. that fits right in that kind of mid-range that individuals who are looking for something different right on the beach have a new beautiful property to go to. Um, we also have a Margaritaville property coming online oh, yeah. in Q1 of 2017 and that um, will also be a mid-range product that will allow lots of added opportunity for the destination. So we're excited mm -hmm. about the next couple of years to came out. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for coming and Thank joining you. us. We look forward to more developments. Great. Thanks Bye. for having me. Take care. Bye-bye.